Welcome back to this new video. In this video today, I'm going to see how to use the page state key to store the scroll position of our list. So let's start by creating a simple list here using the list view widget in Flutter. As you can see, I'm going to be using a list style inside the list to create our items. Let's So we have created our simple demo list of items 1 to 50. Don't mind the spelling, that will show it for today. So in this list, you're going to add a, a page state key that will store our scroll position of our list. So when you move from home page to the next, to the business tab and come back to the home page, we should find our list on the same position where we left it so as for now you see the list goes back to the first item so let's see how to implement this so that our list stores the scroll position so we simply do this by adding a key to the list that will be the key then the path constant page storage key just give it a string let's call it page type string so let's run this and see how it will affect our page so as you can see, that's the simple code I've added in our list to keep the state of the scroll position. So let's test it, move to the next page, even to the next one, the last tab, then come back to the home tab. Ah, bang, as you can see, our, scroll, our last scroll position was on item 21 and we are still on the same item when we come back. So guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.